quantum physics. You ever heard of it? The way that our consciousness actually shapes reality. Let's get into it. All right, you beautiful humans, we're back out here again <sighs> on a mission to change the world for the better. Here to raise the vibration of the nation. Quantum physics is an amazing thing. Do you know anything about it? Check it up, do some research. An interesting topic that I've come across about quantum physics is how our reality that we see is actually only apparent when we observe it and that it actually collapses when it is not observed and repopulates once it is focused upon. Now this sounds wild, I know. Scientists are actually doing tests in laboratories with particles that prove that the particles actually only become apparent when they're focused upon. Billy Carson is someone you could look up who actually explains this very well as well to get into it more in depth. But the theory is that it's like a video game. If you're familiar with video games, let's say you're in a 3D world and in the video game, you can only see a certain distance and the player can walk to that distance and then you can see a certain distance and so on. Now the video game only renders what the viewer can see at that point. And as it gets closer to the point in the distance, the computer keeps rendering more and more to make it seem like it is a seamless experience. Now the theory with the quantum physics is that it's the same exact way with our reality, that our consciousness honestly perceives and co-creates in a certain sense, everything we see and experience. Now there is a co-creation from everybody on the planet that does say, this is a tree, this is a car, this is a beanie, stuff like that. But within the co-creation, kind of like a simulation, everything is there in a etherical sense, but not actually in a physical sense. And it isn't until our consciousness focuses upon it that it does actually populate into existence. It is one of the most wild theories I've ever heard, but with the magic that I've experienced on this planet, it wouldn't surprise me if that is the absolute truth. If quantum physics is right, if the theory is right, that literally the entire universe is collapsible upon observance, that has got to prove to you as well about the magic that is truly going on in this existence. We are literally made of light. We are literally divinity walking and talking. This probably is an amazing simulation created by all that is, by God. And if you ask me, it's a pretty amazing journey. So another key factor to keep in consideration with this theory is that the only thing that exists right now is right now, is this moment in front of my face, in front of your face. You can daydream and fantasize and think about future events fantasize about past events, but in reality, the only thing that exists right now 
is literally what you can see. That sounds wild, right? But another key factor of this is the visualization process. The tactic of visualizing the future you want. See, the thing is with the law of attraction, like attracting like, good vibrations that we talked about in a video not too long ago, check it out. The visualization process literally sends a wave out into the ether, the simulation, and literally will attract and bring those things you desire into your experience with enough dedication to emit the vibration. That's the goal. You can't just visualize about your dream house once and then it just pops up the next day. Very small cases, yeah, it could. But the most of us, the majority of the time, you will need to work on your six pack abs. You don't get them overnight, right? Dedication and determination to get the six pack abs. You need to do the same thing with the visualization to obtain the things you dream of, okay? So quantum physics, it is a very fascinating, fascinating world. This is just a little taste of what it offers. We are actually magic walking. We are absolutely amazing spiritual beings in this physical reality. And we can honestly have whatever we want. So take a deep breath, know you are magnificent and make miracles happen in the world. Let's get it.